Hi, Virginia. Larry, it's your friendly horn trader here. I have this beautiful chorus, 80J, I was telling you about. Serial number is 85,769. And you can see it's the 80J with the extra, with the 703 de denoting the extra silver in the bell. It gives that horn a, a nice shimmer. This horn has had the Bob Reeves uh, custom patented valve alignment. And um, you can see that it's in really good shape. You can see there's a little bit of, what's going on here? Eh, it just uh, looks like a little lacquer wear. Maybe somebody at some point would put it on the floor. And so it's got just a little, you can kind of see that. Um, and then the rest of the lacquer is really good, except right here on the um, bell crook. And I think that's where a guy with a ring held it, kind of like that a la Satchmo style, that, that classic um, uh, postcard that we see. That's what that looks like to me, because it's not dented. It's just uh, scratched up. Great compression. Very fast valves. Um, the, the upper register, beautiful sounding. play pretty the HT3 um, uh, regular HT3 mouthpiece this one has the 27 hole you were thinking about a 25 hole but the 27 hole gives you a very pretty sound and still has a little bit of resistance so that you know you're not blowing and, 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 uh, and uh, losing a lung in the process so let me see if I can play something classical. Now you can hear how nice this horn um, is on the attack. So it's really nice. T, ta, T, not T or Steve, duh, you know. It's got a really nice, uh, and I think that has to do with the, uh, the lead pipe in the ADJ. Uh, it, it is a larger horn, but uh, they have a, um, a specially uh, designed lead pipe by Guy Tuvaron, who um, made it so that it has a little bit resistance in the pipe and it makes it easy to uh, articulate. So that's with the, uh, the classical mouthpiece. And then with the, um, the Horn Trader HT3 Jazz, I know you're all, oh, is that it? This must be the flugelhorn mouthpiece. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the HT3 Jazz, deep cup, much like a flugelhorn, but it has a trumpet shank. Fits in there like this. It's a little shorter so that you don't have to manipulate your slide, but I still do just a tad. So you can see I got it out about, oh, I don't know, three eighths. I'm gonna bring it in an eighth. And let's play um, a little jazz something.